man, I'm over here kicking with the infamous Kev Mac, and that's Mac, you know what I mean? You know, with Compton and Long Beach together, you know you in trouble, nigga. It's finna be on. You want that real crip history, you finna get it. None of that bowled up, bubble up stuff. I'm gonna give it to you straight how it is. Don't like it too bad. It's about history, baby. Playboy Gangsta Crip, for sure. West Side, West LA. All through the West Side, South Central, the Pen, wherever you wanna go, we finna go. They finna take me there. We about to tell a story, man. Uh, give me a couple big name guys that you've been in prison with. Prison with Tookie, my nigga uh, Tretch, Evil, Tony Stacy, uh, Cubes. I done met all of them, man. Low Feet. You know what I mean? I done met all of them, bro. I, I, I'm naming names. I don't want to forget nobody. You know what I mean? <laughs> Master Cody, all of them. Yes, sir. Why bring your story to Kevin Mac video? Just to set some things correct, you know what I mean? Give honor where honor is due. You know, everybody else shooting us down, we might as well lift us up and even come up with some type of ideas of going to a better place than we at, man. You know what I mean? Start loving our folks, man. Uh, everybody say we came from the Playboy dancers, which is not uh, offensive to me because most of our homies was Playboy dancers, but that's not what we came from. Because if I'm the big homie, and I didn't, and I wasn't a Playboy dancer, and that's when we, we, we was, uh, uh, you could say we really was because we was all family. But people don't understand about Playboy gangsters. we just wasn't, a, we wasn't a gang, we was a family. We grew up, you know, just like Esmer asked me about what happened before Playboy gangsters. we was all family. We fought at football games, fought at the movies already, so when it popped off, it popped off. Originally, I grew up on, in the Thumbs, I grew up in Harlem. And so I had a lot of Crip influence and a lot of homies that, uh, that, that, that grew, that, that, that moved to the hood because there was a lot of uh, apartments and things like that. You know, they came from other hoods, you know what I mean? So, but growing up under Kevin Golf, Kenny Raymond, uh, 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 Mac Man and these big dudes, man, that, that, that influenced me, Kato and all them, you know, they, they the ones who, uh, who laced me up on the game as far as, uh, as, far as strength and uh, unity in the neighborhood, like, you know, like I said, it was a lot of apartments, but we all knew each other, it was all, you know, so in, in, in about 1979, we all, we all get these dates mixed up, because niggas is old now, <laughs> but, but, but when we first got together, uh, uh, we, 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 you know, with some folks hanging out in the alley, and uh, the, my, my homie Don Juan came to me and said, man, you know what? You know, you be wearing blue rags and all that, and you know, we wearing khakis and all that, man. Why we just don't be Crips, you know what I mean? Because we was already uh, in motion, so that's what we did. We went on Corny Street. I grew up on Bedford. That's where Kenny Raymond and all them dudes, Greg Raymond and them grew up. So they, they, they the ones who I hung with. We called them the Bedford boys. And so, uh, so when we went on Corny, you had Pirate. You had, you had a, a Master D and all them homies over there, Big Scooby. And, and they was uh, like Pop Lock and Gangster. So we used the name Playboy and we used the name Gangster for Pop Lock and Gangster. We wasn't trying to tie in a trade or nothing like that. We was just coming up with a fancy name. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, you know, as you should when you're a child, that's what people think. Really don't know. They, they ask me, how did I do this? And how did I do this? I don't know. Because leaders ain't made, they born. So I was doing things that I really didn't know the time. Kev Mac, good, good looking out, homie. Uh, we've been looking for each other for a minute because we knew it was going to be beautiful. But uh, I, I've been wanting to do this for a while, man. You know what I mean? Not not because of what I've seen of, or, or just the content and the how how you guys uh, put y'all interviews together, man. I respect that because I can't be in nothing that ain't right, homie. So when I seen y'all was good looking out that we hooked up like that and some loved ones hooked us up, man. So I'm ready to, to do it, man, for sure. Right. Tune in to the Kevin Mac Show. So we can chop it up, this big Jesse James, the creator of Playboy Gangster. You know what I mean? We finna put it down, man. Tune in, man. Get right or get left. <laughs>